So the next thing we need to go over is writing the equation of a line in slope-intercept form when you're given the slope and a point that is on that line. So the two things we need to write the equation of a line is a slope and a y-intercept. So in this situation, the y-intercept is what we're missing. We're going to use the formula for slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and we're going to figure out what the y-intercept is. So let's look at an example of this. In example number one, they have given you the slope and they've given you a point on that line. Remember, to write the equation of a line, you need a slope and the y-intercept. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula, y equals mx plus b, and we're going to use it to figure out what the y-intercept is. We're going to take this information up here. We're going to plug it all into this formula. The one thing that's going to be missing is the y-intercept. We're going to solve it for b, and it's going to tell us what the y-intercept is. So again, we're going to use this formula to figure out what the y-intercept is, because that's the only thing we're missing. We've got the slope. We just needed to figure out what the y-intercept is. Remember, a point consists of an x and a y. And look at our formula. It has an x and a y in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the y up here and I'm going to plug it into the formula. The y is 7, so I'm going to put a 7 right there. Is equal to, I'm going to take the slope, which is that spot right there, negative 1, and I'm going to multiply it to this x that they gave me over here, 4 plus B. And remember, B stands for the y-intercept. Once I solve this, once I do all the math and I solve this, it'll tell me what the y-intercept for this problem is. So I need to multiply. 7 is equal to negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 plus B. The only thing I need to do is solve this one-step equation, and it'll tell me what the y-intercept is. What do I need to do to solve for B? The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. I add 4 to both sides. I'm going to put my b over here on the other side. b is equal to, I'm going to do my math right here, 7 plus 4 is 11. So I've got the two pieces of information I need. Remember, b stands for the y-intercept. I've got my y-intercept and I've got my slope. I simply put those two pieces of information back in this formula right here and I'll have the equation of the line. Remember, the equation of a line starts off with y is equal to. Then you write down the slope. Slope for this problem is negative 1. I put an x beside it, and then down here on the end, I put my y-intercept, and that's what I determined right here, what the y-intercept is. Remember, I don't have to write the 1's in front of x. y is equal to negative x plus 11. That's the equation of a line that goes through this point right here and has this slope. Example number two. Example number two, they've given me the slope and they've given me a point on this line. Remember, the two things we need to write the equation of a line is a slope and a y-intercept. I'm going to use my slope-intercept formula to figure out what the y-intercept is. Which one of these letters means the y-intercept? It's this one right here. That means I need to plug numbers into all these other spots. They gave me a y. Remember, a point consists of an x and a y. My y for this problem is 3. 3 goes in where the y is. M represents the slope. 3 goes right there, and I'm going to multiply it to whatever my x is. And for this problem, the x is negative 2 plus b on the end, and remember the b stands for the y-intercept. I solve this, and I'll have what the y-intercept is. Multiply these together, 3 is equal to negative 6 plus b. b stands for the y-intercept. Once I solve for it, I know what the y-intercept is. How do I solve this one-step equation? Opposite of negative 6, positive 6. I need to add 6 to both sides. I'm going to put the B over here on this side. I'm going to go 3 plus 6 is 9. Remember that B is my y-intercept. So I've got the two pieces of information I need to write the equation of a line. I've got a y-intercept and I have a slope. 
I simply put those two things in this formula and I've got the equation of the line. The equation of the line starts off with y is equal to, what's my slope? 3. I put an x beside my slope and here on the end is my y-intercept. I did all this work to figure out what the y-intercept is. Plus 9. This is the equation of a line that goes through this point right here and has this slope right here. Example number three. Write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form given the following. Well, they gave me the slope, but they didn't give me the y-intercept. I need to use this information right here to figure out the y-intercept. And how am I going to figure out the y-intercept? By using this formula right here and solving it for B. B is the y-intercept. Remember, a point consists of an x and a y. My y for this problem is 7 is equal to m represents the slope. The slope is 3 halves. And I'm going to multiply that to whatever my x is. My x in this problem is 4 plus b. b stands for the y-intercept. Once I solve this, I'm going to figure out what the y-intercept is. I'm going to take this fraction and multiply it to a whole number. So 3 halves times, remember, I can write 4 as a fraction, 4 over 1. How do you multiply fractions together? Multiply the top multiply the bottom, and I can actually divide those. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 6 goes in that spot right there. Now I simply have to solve this equation. Opposite of positive 6, negative 6. Put the b over here on this side. 7 minus 6 is 1. This is my y-intercept. I've got this and this to plug into the formula, and then I'll have the equation of a line that goes through this point and has this slope. The equation of a line starts off with y is equal to. Then I write down the slope. What's the slope for this one? 3 halves. I put an x beside the slope. On the end is my y-intercept. Positive 1 is my y-intercept. This is the equation of a line that passes through this point right here and has this slope. I simply had to figure out what the y-intercept is. Example number four, another one that has a fraction as a slope. They don't give me the y-intercept. That means I need to use this formula right here to figure out what the y-intercept is. Remember, a point consists of an x and a y. I'm going to take all this information, plug it into here. The one thing I won't be able to plug in is something for b because that's my y-intercept. I do have a y. What's my y? Negative 2 is equal to m stands for slope. What's my slope? Negative 4 thirds. I'm going to take negative 4 thirds and multiply it to whatever x is. What's my x in this problem? 6 plus b. b stands for my y-intercept. So now I just need to do some math and I'll figure out what the y-intercept is. Negative 4 thirds times 6. 4 thirds times, I write 6 as a fraction, 6 over 1. How do you multiply fractions together? Multiply the top. 4 times 6, 24. 3 times 1 is 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And remember, a negative times a positive is a negative. Bring down minus 2 bring down plus b. I need to solve this right here for b. What's the opposite of negative 8? Positive 8. Negative 2 plus 8 is 6. That cancels out. I'm going to switch it around just because I want the variable over here on this side and we're going to talk about putting things in standard form. Remember that b stands for my y-intercept. I'm going to take this piece of information and this piece of information and simply plug it back into this formula right here. y is equal to is how I start off an equation. I write down the slope next which is negative four-thirds and I put an x beside the slope. I did all this work to figure out what the y-intercept is. The y-intercept 
is positive 6. This is the equation of the line that goes through this point right here and has this slope right here. Example number 5. Example number five, they want me to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. They've given me the slope, and they've given me a point on that line. If they'd given me the y-intercept, then I would simply put it in there. But they didn't, so I'm going to have to use this formula to figure out what the y-intercept is. Remember, a point consists of an x and a y. So what's my y for this problem? Negative 12 is equal to what's my slope? because that's what m represents, 0 times whatever my x is, 5 plus b. b stands for my y-intercept. I solve this, and I'll figure out what my y-intercept is. I need to multiply first. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 plus anything is whatever you're adding that 0 to. So negative 12 is equal to b. b is my y-intercept. I'm going to flip it around. I simply plug this information into this formula right here. Always start an equation off with y is equal to. My slope is 0. Put x beside the slope. My y-intercept is negative 12. Remember doing these problems in the other videos? 0 times x is 0 minus 12. What is 0 minus 12? y is equal to negative 12. That's the equation of a line that has a slope of 0 and passes through this point right here. If you see something that has a slope of 0, hopefully we'll get to the point that we get more advanced, that we won't have to work all this out, and we realize that a slope of 0 goes across. It only hits the y-axis. I'll look at this number right here that's where it's going to hit the y-axis at. So my answer is going to be simply y is equal to negative 12. Once we get to a better understanding, we won't have to work all this out. We can simply look at the information they give us and figure out, oh, the equation of this is y is equal to negative 12. Using information like we did in the other one, where we can just look at something and tell what the equation is going to be, is going to help us tremendously on one like this. Because this equation, y is equal to mx plus b, we have to have something to plug in for the slope. There is no slope on this one. So for this one, we're going to have to think, like we did on the other one. The other one had a slope of 0. If it goes across, it hits the y-axis. This one has no slope. What does no slope look like? It's a line that goes straight up and down. So I'm going to draw a picture of what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane looks like this. I'm thinking about where this point will be. Go over 3, 1, 2, 3, up 2, 1, 2. There's where that point is, and then a slope of no slope, meaning it's a line that goes straight up and down. So this is what I'm thinking about in my head. I'm looking at this, and this only hits the x-axis. Does it hit the y-axis? No. That means this equation is not going to have a y in it. That means I need to start off with x is equal to. And what is my x up here? 3. That's the equation of this line. There's really nothing to work out. This was what was going on in my head. I realized that it goes straight up and down, doesn't have a y in it, it only has an x in it. And that means my equation for this line is going to be x is equal to 3.